We are experiencing our life in this world under the limitation of time and under the limitation of place. We believe and we understand that because that our soul is channeled into our bodies, into our physical bodies, therefore we are experiencing our life through the body and we cannot expand our soul to be endless to be one with infinity and to see things beyond our bodies. In the future to come, when the knowledge will expand, um, like that it's written that in the time of redemption, um, the knowledge of Hashem, knowing Hashem, will be as uh, the water that covers the sea. Everyone, all people on earth, will have the complete knowledge of knowing Hashem, of knowing the existence of the Creator. The difference between people will be, though, um, corresponding to the effort and to the dedication that they gave vessels that they built uh, during their lifetime. So if you made more vessels, you will contain more light. If you built less vessels, you will contain less light. So like the water that covers the sea, that in some places are very shallow, close to the shore, and in other places deeper, um, we will have differences in the depth of our understanding of Hashem in the world to come, or in the time of redemption. But, meanwhile, every person will definitely still enjoy being part of the ocean, being part of Hashem, even with small amount. Now, every person corresponding to his effort and to his um, work, serving Hashem and doing, keeping mitzvot and doing good things, um, based on that, he will build vessels and will see Hashem more and more, will know Hashem more and more. In every situation in your life, if you were one with Hashem in that situation, you build a vessel, you build a vessel, but if you, in that position in life, in that situation in life, was disconnected from Hashem, so you lost that opportunity of having that vessel. In the future to come, when the redemption will take place, the redemption will take place not only in the current time, it will take pl place in all the times, means that all the worlds will be redeemed, not only our world. It's not that in the future to come, suddenly the Mashiach will come and then the last generation will be redeemed and there's going to be resurrection of the dead and everyone will wake up. No, it's not what that will happen. What that will happen is that in that time, that the last generation will be worthy for the redemption, the light will shine in such way that the light of redemption will be seen to all spots of time that ever existed since the beginning of time. Means that we will rise to a certain spiritual level that will set us free from the limitation of time and we will be able to experience all of our life, all of our history, without the limitation of time, means that we will be able to live all the moments of our creation that we ever lived before in the same time, because we will be free from the limitation of time. So let's say that you have now, and now you have now, those are two different moments. In both of those moments, you are one with Hashem. You can be with Hashem now, one with Hashem, thinking about Hashem, doing Hashem's will. And also now, you can be with Hashem. And this is a different world. This is a different time. This is a different creation. And now you can also be with Hashem. You have the free choice to be with Hashem, or God forbid, not. It's in the per person's hand to choose if to connect to Hashem or to disconnect, God forbid, from Hashem. By being honest, you connect yourself to Hashem, being truthful, doing the right thing, choosing life 
fulfilling your obligation of Torah and mitzvot, being one with Hashem, and God forbid the opposite, a bad person, an evil person, a person who is choosing to follow his fears and going, God forbid, to the other side. Now, in every moment that you choose to be with Hashem, that will be a moment of redemption for you in the time of redemption. Means that the person will experience the redemption in all the moments that in those moments he was connecting himself to Hashem. The redemption will not redeem only the last moment of creation and there you're going to experience the redemption. When the redemption will take place in that last moment for the last generation, the light will spread to all the moments of creations for them all to be redeemed. So let's say that they're going to be found a person who made only two mitzvot in all his lifetime. So in those two moments where he was worthy to be redeemed, he will experience the redemption. And those will be two vessels that he will enjoy eternal life, means time of prosperity and redemption in those moments where he was worthy to be redeemed. So that person will have two points in time that in those two points while he made those two good things in his life that he will experience complete redemption in those moments, in those times. One time when he was 27, one time when he was 38, for an example, a rough example, just to make things simple and clear. And he will experience a complete redemption in both those times. Because over here he was worthy to be redeemed because he helped a person. And over here he was worthy to be redeemed because he assisted someone and did something good. And in those both times he will be redeemed. Completely means that he will experience redemption in those moments Hashem will reveal himself to him and the whole world will be uh, open for him and all his desires and all his will be will be answered and all his prayers everything will be open for him in a great the greatest way of them all but only in those two places so these two places will allow him an access to very shallow water very shallow water but again which nature will those shallow water hold a great nature of prosperity of eternal elevation it's like think about every one of those moments we will consider it as a vessel to receive the bounty so you have a cup and here you have another cup both of those cups are full with eternal joy because in the world to come, in the future to come, great salvation of eternal development and spiritual prosperity will fill us. So with your tiny vessels that you have two, for the example that we use for that person who did only two good things in his life, he will enjoy two cups. And every one of those cups eternally will access him to more and more bounty. He will experience 1,000 years of prosperity, of elevation, of spiritual joy and pleasure that never ends. But from those two cups, means in those two moments in time that he was worthy to be redeemed. Now, a simple person, that like the Torah is saying, that even the most emptiest ones of the people of Israel are full of mitzvot, as a pomegranate that is full of mitzvot. You, you made so many good things because even to be clean and to wash yourself is considered as a mitzvah. Even just to smile to a person, to be nice, to shake a hand of a person, to do good things, just to be pleasant, to be polite, not to throw garbage on the ground, to pick up something and to put it in the trash instead of letting it roll in the streets or whatever. All those good things are moments that will be redeemed. So every person will have like millions of moments in time that he shall be redeemed in those moments. Every person, every person, he will stand in that position and in the next position and in the next position then that in all those positions in his lifetime he was a loving soul, a good person, doing good things and in every one of those moments when the redemption will take place in the time for the last generation the light of redemption will redeem all history, all the time.
and all the worlds will be redeemed. So if you made, let's say, million mitzvot during your lifetime, you smile to people, you gave charity, another dime and another dime, another smile, you learn Torah here, you learn Torah there, you gave a good advice, you held the door for someone to enter, every one of those moments shall be redeemed and you will experience that from that angle, from that point in your life, the redemption, the complete redemption, there's going to be a redemption for you in that place while you're going to experience a redemption to the next moment that you are worthy to be redeemed in that moment. So you're going to have two and then three and then five and then 12 and then 19 and all those life redemption experiences will take place above time. It means that you'll be able to experience all those huge hours of redemption, eternal life of redemption, in million points in time, all to be redeemed.